As you know, the past year has been a real challenge for everybody. Our biggest fundraiser for the year, uh, the uh, Mulvane Art Fair, was canceled two years in a row. And that's had a huge impact on us. So um, this year, we decided to try something a little different since we can't do the art fair. And we are planning an art auction that's virtual and lets us kind of work with artists who have been a part of the art fair in the past, here in the community, lets us continue to support them, and raise some funds for the, the museums, educational programs, and collections, and exhibitions. One of the artists that's uh, participating in the event uh, did a very special painting uh, for the art auction. And when we saw it, we... Uh, uh, we thought that this painting needs to stay here on our campus. This portrait and this gift and this opportunity has come to us through the generosity of the artist, Becky Drager. On behalf of Washburn, this is just a great thing. There's one thing that I know Washburn alums and donors all love and support, and it's Dr. Jerry Farley and his wife, Susan. And so uh, you've done so much for the university, and we thought this would be a clever way to <laughs> Uh, honor you. Well, I was very pleased to be asked to participate in this project. Once I saw the painting and the subject matter of the painting, I thought this is a great opportunity for the Mulvane to showcase uh, artists and a great piece of art for the campus. My goal was $6,200. That represented 0.01% of a painting that sold in Dubai for $62 million. <laughs> and I thought that was just kind of a fun way to get people's attention. I was hoping there'd be more than 6,200, but I didn't expect quite the um, donation amount that we are receiving, which we are still receiving. But we are just at $11,000. Wow. That's 175 percent of this goal, and I know it's going to go over 200 percent. So there are 37 donors at this time. They represent nine states: Washington mm -hmm. D.C. and Australia. Uh, wow. Senator Dole made a contribution. So it's been a fun project. It also goes 100 percent to the Mulvane Art Museum, and that's the goal of the whole art auction, and that's the goal of this. But I want to thank, of course, Becky Drager for your inspiration, for your beautiful painting, but also for donating 100% of the proceeds. That's awesome. We are still accepting donations, and anybody can donate. Dr. Farley's portrait was called Proud to be a Nicobod, was part of my Inspired by Topeka People series. The series started in April of 2020 during the COVID quarantine. Mm -hmm. Cut off from friends and family and alone in my studio, I started to paint Topeka people that inspired me in some way. Dr. Farley's portrait was the last in the series of 20 paintings. He is an inspiring character because of his drive to improve the quality and education at Washburn University, which translates into improving the quality of living in Topeka. His vision and dedication to providing exceptional learning experience for all students is what makes Dr. Farley a truly inspirational person. I'm so happy he is part of my series and I'm very proud to have my painting hanging in the student union where it is visible to the public and continues to inspire. Okay, so here we go. Drum roll. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if when, when you when you look at this, look at the details of what uh, Becky has done. There are Ichabods everywhere, and uh, yeah, yeah, Washburn cufflinks and braces and everything, everything. Great, great, fantastic. To have something like this and to have Richard be the one that really is beating the drums and making it all happen uh, makes our job, your job, uh, a lot easier. Uh, he has been known across the campus. He's known in Topeka. 
uh, and when you hear him knocking at the door, you know he's there to do something good. Yeah. Richard, thank you. You've done a great job on this, as you do with everything that you do. Gotcha. Couldn't do it without the, Connie. Couldn't do it without Becky. Um, and it makes a real special, special place. I want to remind everyone that the there's a live auction. There's a lot of lot more artwork that's going to uh, be available. You can see it in the Rita Blit Gallery, and uh, you will be able to bid on it starting May 31st right. through June 4th. And uh, there's a really there's an app for that. <laughs> uh, so make, we make it really easy. So if you go to the MulvaneArtMuseum.org. You can uh, go to that uh, link and it'll tell you everything you need to, to do. So we'll, we'll make it easy for you. A live event on uh, a virtual live event uh, for June 4th, starting at 6 o'clock p.m. There's a link to that event so you can watch it. You can actually uh, go to Burger Sand and hmm. uh, uh, mention the Mulvane Art Auction you'll get a 15% discount on your order. You can take that home with you, sit in front of um, on your TV, watch the event, bed, eat your burgers, <laughs> and uh, have a nice evening. Have a party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I want to thank everyone for being a part of this uh, effort, especially for, for doing this incredible Thanks. work. Thanks for hanging it for me. Um, it's exciting to be a part of the arts community when this kind of thing is going on. Thank you.